Roots of Empathy is a classroom program to help children become more competent, caring citizens today and more caring parents of tomorrow. It takes place over the course of a school year. We bring in a family from the community with an infant, and they visit on a regular basis. Is she at the point where she's tasting different foods? Food and anything that can get near her mouth. And the children learn through observing this baby how babies feel and react to the world. And in turn, they learn about themselves. We teach students to recognize the individual temperament of their baby. The magic of this is that the children then learn very quickly their own temperament traits. Children looking at me. Roots of Empathy program teaches children emotional literacy. That is, the ability to identify feelings and give them names. Santa Claus holding a baby. That's what the picture is about. Now tell me, what do you think this baby's feeling? Afraid. Afraid? Bad. Must be sad. Scared. What's happening to make you think she looks scared or frightened? She has a frown. She has a frown. Why do you think this baby might be afraid? She's scared of Santa Claus because she, um, Santa Claus is a stranger and he doesn't, and she doesn't know him yet. She doesn't know him yet. The Roots of Empathy program focuses on the relationship of a parent and infant. And the reason we've taken that relationship to be the key teaching tool is because it is unparalleled as a motor for teaching and for learning. For example, if a baby cries, we explain a baby who cries is a baby who has a problem. Why do you think a baby might cry? And the adults in that baby's life have to figure out what the problem so is and help the baby. He cries. That's how he talks. That's how he talks. You're right. That's and this idea of problem solving is core throughout the Roots of Empathy program. The children problem solve what the problem is with the baby, and then they take that learning and they problem solve in their own relationships. I did a book for Takao, a pattern book, so we went through that. The families who we invite to participate as groups uh, of the families uh, represent diversity. Erin, do you like to listen to song? Okay. Our value is inclusion. We outreach to these families so that we can show that love comes in every color and in every language and that there is room in our circle of caring for everybody. One of my Tamil boys was especially proud to hear um, Aaron's mom singing in Tamil because right away he said, oh, I know that, I know what she's singing and I know the words and... It made him feel very, very good. And when children see care happening, it allows them to move to the next stage, which means identifying how their friends are feeling and responding to that. How would your friend feel? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So how can you feel sorry for him? Having responsive friendships and relationships in the classroom. Building a caring community in the classroom. Now think about Tikal. With the grade 7 class, there was a lot of negative behavior, for example, like name-calling. Um, you know, some fairly serious racist and sexist, homophobic-type name-calling. But since we've had the Roots of Empathy program going in there, there's been a noticeable shift. We haven't had to deal with them around those negative issues. One Sunday afternoon, Sam's dad was being even more mean and bossy than usual. Sam shouted... In the Roots of Empathy program, we bring in many areas of curriculum, which of course keeps teachers very happy, because they can see that their agenda is being addressed while we teach the counter agenda of care. Look at his face. What does that tell you? He's mad. Very mad. Really? Mm -hmm. Let me see your mad face. 
I can see mad bodies, too. Let's see what he decides to do. He stuffed into the... We backpack. use a lot of literature because literature opens the door to feelings. Well, how much is it going to cost for one day to diaper with this diaper? Six hundred. Six dollars and sixty-four cents. Okay. We bring in mathematics. For a week. Come and see the pictures that the children make. Yeah. We use the arts. They've already started doing pictures about the things he can do. Many of the teachers in Roots of Empathy classroom use many of the activities that we start under the name of Roots in many, many creative ways. They've done a lot of work uh, already. So that Roots of Empathy classroom teachers extend the program is in as many ways as they are unique themselves. When Roots of Empathy comes to a school, it doesn't just come to a school or a classroom, it comes to a community. It's because you are making connections in that community of the most positive sort. We would see some of the uh, kids uh, on the street uh, uh, outside of school hours. They would uh, know Simon and they'd, hey, it's Simon. It's our baby. It's our baby, That's Simon. Right, their, uh, their class yeah, they really baby. had taken sort of possession of him. So you are creating a comfort level and a recognition and building bridges to and from the school to the community that sometimes are difficult to build. And there's no question it's a road well-traveled once it's established. I'd like to thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. And this class is the celebration of Noah's first year with us. Look at him. Look at the difference. Is he jolly? One of the interesting offshoots of Roots with kids in grades 7 and 8 is that although the baby is incredibly attractive, it doesn't make the kids want to rush off and have a baby. I think I feel comfortable after I'm university and I have a good job. I think I would have a baby then. I want to be a parent, but I know I have to wait, wait for the right time because you have to have the money to support your children and you just have to be mature enough to take care of your kids. Happy birthday. So many of the teachers of classes when children have gone through the Roots of Empathy program, our hope is that they would become more caring individuals, that they would be able to understand how other people feel, to be able to read the cues, but more than that, to be able to be proactive and see how they might be involved in helping. So that we're looking for an awareness within themselves and an awareness of other people, which will build a more caring civic society. What? Sometimes when I don't feel happy, Sarah, she just makes me feel happy some way. I have no idea why.